Welcome to Tuts Plus. I am Jose Mata, and in this course, we'll cover the Ganga 4 patterns applied to the Ruby language. The Ganga 4 is a common name for a group of four different people that excelled at software development, and they came up with this book from Edison Wesley. It's called Design Patterns, and it explains in detail a set of common solutions to common problems in software development. If you haven't read the book, then I definitely suggest you go and read it. Most of the patterns you see here are a result of trial and error from these four folks, and so the collection of patterns that you see throughout the book are very valuable, and they're actually pretty pragmatic. As in with any pattern in software development, they try to improve your software. In this case, all of these design patterns try to focus on flexibility and maintainability. All of the patterns in the book have a final goal of extracting behavior and clearing out certain responsibilities in your classes. So before we do anything else, I would like to suggest you the two following courses. If you don't have any experience in Ruby, then probably you should check out the Ruby Fundamentals course. After that, or if you already have some Ruby experience, which is most likely to happen, then go ahead and check the object-oriented design and refactoring patterns applied to Ruby as well. This last course is fundamental to understand some basic principles on refactoring and on changing code. So definitely go ahead and jump to that course first before coming back. Also, I'll put a link in the show notes regarding the source code for our course. The code that you'll be seeing at GitHub might not be exactly the same as the one you'll be seeing here throughout the exercise. Nevertheless, the design patterns will be applied and you can check those in in an easy manner. Each pattern is in their own separate folder, so you will get a good isolation and a specific example for each one. That being said, let's go and review the agenda. The course will be very simple. I'm going to introduce the topic of design patterns, and I'm going to list most, if not all, of the patterns in the book. You have three different categories for all those patterns, creational, structural, and behavioral. Each one of these categories contains a set of patterns that are related to that category, regard the way you create your objects. The structural set of patterns explain how to structure your objects and your classes and the behavioral set of patterns tries to solve a common set of problems regarding behavior, responsibilities, and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of different patterns. I'm just gonna name a few here like you see in the slide, but we're going to cover just a little more than that. So let's just go ahead and jump to the next lesson. I'm going to introduce the topic of design patterns. See you soon.